Galaxy S24 and Pixel 8 series could soon get on device web page summarizing feature thanks to Gemini Nano. One of the best things about Google's Search Generative Experience, or SGE, is that it allows you to summarize web pages into points that you can easily understand without having to read the entire article. The feature is already available on all smartphones via the cloud, but thanks to a new discovery, it could soon become part of the list of on-device eye features that the Galaxy S24 and Pixel 8 series possess. Gemini Nano will make on-device web page summarizing possible on Galaxy S24 and Pixel 8 devices. Android enthusiast and expert Ms. Hale Roman found a lot of compelling evidence that suggests that Google could be working on bringing this feature to the Galaxy S24 and the Pixel 8 devices. Essentially, all the devices that have on-device Gemini Nano built into them, and if that is correct, then we are going to start seeing the feature available on the devices. However, as excited as one would want to be over the fact that such a feature could be coming to the supported Android devices, we do have to keep in mind that this is just based on the evidence that was found in some strings. This means that the Galaxy S24 and the Pixel 8 series users will have to wait a good chunk of time before this feature actually becomes a thing, if it ever becomes a thing, for that matter. As far as the details are concerned, we cannot really confirm when Galaxy S24 and Pixel 8 users are going to get access to this feature, but we do know that both Samsung and Google are working to ensure that the devices get as many on-device features as possible and if this does work out, then we are definitely off to a good start. I am really hoping that more devices that are running affordable SoCS get this feature, too, because it would really add to the overall experience allowing on-device eye to be even more mainstream. Do you think such an eye-powered feature is going to benefit you in any way when it comes to improving the overall user experience of your device? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.